Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. Look, if you're in the state of Texas and you have a low credit score or you have bad credit and you're still trying to get business funding, I have a few suggestions for you. Now, one of the things that I continue to tell business owners that one of the bigger problems that make you miss out on business funding is because you may be dealing with the wrong bank. All right, that's right. Having the wrong bank account. And the reason is because your banking activity is not reporting to the business credit bureaus. Now, that being said, you have your uh, community banks that people will open up a bank account with, or you have your credit unions, okay? And because they're not major banks, they don't report to the business credit bureaus, all right? So the banks that you wanna start banking with, you can continue to have your credit unions and your community banks, but if you're trying to get funding, all right, and to help your business bank rating, you need to check out these banks here. The top ones would be Citibank, okay? Then you have um, Chase, and then Capital One. All right. Those would be your top banks that you should at least have one business bank account with. So choosing one of these, uh, adding to your community bank or your credit union. All right. This is very important, especially when you're trying to get funding, but you have to increase your business bank rating. Now, another thing you have to understand that a Paydex score, as well as a Dunn's number, um, excuse me, a Dunn's number doesn't matter. Your Paydex score and your Dunn's number does not matter when it comes to business funding. All right. The things that actually matter is your deposits and your credit rating. And again, like I said, I'm going to show you some lenders if you have a low credit score or bad credit score to help you get funding. Excuse me, let me get a better. Here's the thing about it. If you have a low credit score or, um, or bad credit, one thing you need to know is what's going on with your business credit file. So in order to find that out, you can check out NAV, okay? Excuse me if you hear squeaking of my marker. But NAV is a business credit um, source, okay? They're not a business credit bureau. They, but what they do, they pull all this data in from uh, Experian, Equifax, Dunn and Bradstreet on your business credit file, okay? And then it tells you like what are your scores and what your possibilities are for being approved for a business loan or a business credit card. Now, another thing I want to tell you guys, with your major banks, like uh, Chase Citibank Capital One, you do not want to go for business loans. It's too much red tape. You want to go through alternative lenders if you're trying to get a business loan. Business credit cards is okay, but in business lines of credit, but you do not want to go for business loans through them, okay? So that being said, if you're in the state of Texas, the lenders that you want to actually look at is maybe someone like Funbox, okay? Now Funbox, you, uh, they want you to be in business at least six months, and they want you to produce at least three bank statements, okay? Now, your revenue in reference to Funbox, you have to be making 25K or more, okay? Annually, excuse me. That's 25K or more annually. It's Axion, okay? Axion is a nonprofit. Uh, Funbox, they want you, you can have a 500 credit score with, with Funbox. Axion, they want you to have at least a 576 credit score. All right? And uh, no bankruptcies, no big bank BKs, and uh, no recent collections. Okay? But, like, say that you have other alternative income, like jo job income and stuff like that. Now, their, their loans start at about five hundred dollars okay now i don't know who needs a business loan if their loan is only going to be 500 but that's what axiom starts at 
all right so that's what you want to know like i said we're focusing on uh low hanging fruit especially if you have a low credit score or you have a uh, bad credit now you do have excuse me oh wow this isn't working for me today uh you do have divi right and divi they would do a softball okay they do a softball but um it's going to be a fico 9 uh softball okay and if you have a business with revenue they may be able to give you funding okay even if you don't have the best credit score now let's talk about credit cards and again like i said if you're trying to get funding in the state of texas and you have bad credit low credit score then one of the things you do have to think about is maybe other credit cards okay so then you have um i put it here capital one so you have the cap the capital one all right it's the capital one spark and it's the business gold card okay it's the Capital One Business Gold Card, excuse me. And so with this Capital One Business Gold Card, the thing about it is that all you need is a 580 credit score. A 580 credit score. Now, here's something I'm going to suggest to you guys if you have bad credit before I talk about the other credit card. If you have a sibling or a loved one or a child that's over the age of 18 that's trying to go into business with you, you can add them on to your company and they can apply for credit cards and business lines of credit on you, the behalf on the behalf of the company. Okay, so that's another way to get around if you have bad credit or a low credit score and you're trying to get funding. Now, you have CorePay, okay? Now CorePay, all you need is a 600 credit score for CorePay, a 600 credit score. Now with CorePay, they report to Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax, okay? So they report to the major credit bureaus. Also with Capital One Spark Business, they report to um, Small Business Financial Exchange, all right, and they report to uh, Equifax and Dun and Bradstreet. So these accounts actually will report, even though you need you don't need a, a great credit score to get these cards. Once you get them and you use them, and I tell you something else, that most people they would get a a low limit a business credit card, right? And by them getting a low limit business credit card because it's five hundred or something like that, they won't use it. If you don't use the card, it doesn't pick up the data so they can know that, hey, we can give him a larger line of credit. All right. Now, another card said that you have bad credit and you're still trying to build up your business credit and trying to help you get funding. Like I said, all of this is unsecured here. All right. You have a Capital One. Excuse me. Capital. You have to excuse me. Oh, uh, man. It's Capital One Tap, okay? And so here's the thing about Capital One Tap. They wanna take a look at your deposits and stuff like that to get you qualified. Now here's the thing that most people, they would say, oh, I'm making X amount of money, right? From their business. And so Capital One Tap, even though they have a low credit score, they would give them a 10, 15, $20,000 credit card. But what Capital One Tab may come back and do, they may come back and say, hey, can you show us invoices of your transactions? So if they show you invoices of your transactions and you stated that, hey, this is what I'm doing, then they may close your account down. All right. So just keep that in mind. Don't play these games with them. If you have real revenue coming into your business, make sure. Now, the revenue they want you to have is at least 30000 They want you to have at least $30,000 yearly. If you're trying to build up your business credit and you still have this bad credit, you have the uh, Bank of America Business 
Now this Bank of America business secure, you have to put money up front, but it's a uh, $1,000, but it reports, it reports to the Small Business Financial Exchange. By the way, this is also a way, so a lot of people worry about, like I said, the net 30s and the Paydex score and the DUNS. This is how you actually get around that because you build up the foundation using these uh, low hanging fruit type of credit cards and stuff and making sure that you're doing weekly deposits in one of these major banks. That helps you. Also, NAV actually, if you get an account with NAV, they actually report to uh, Dunn and Bradstreet, um, Experian, and Equifax as well. Okay? So, this is the best way if you have bad credit or limited credit and you're trying to get business funding, this is your best option in order to help you grow your business. If you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.